Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use an ifs function along with a weekday function to automatically populate a calendar. Okay, so in a previous uh, video, just made this calendar by formatting cells using some pretty easy formatting techniques. But what I would like to happen now is based on a date that I enter right up here in cell A1, I want the body of the calendar to get populated automatically with the appropriate days in the appropriate spots. So let's take care of that. Now to start off, I need to fix this row here where I just have my days of the week. Currently they're all typed out and I don't want that. I need to have some weekday references in here. So for instance, instead of just writing the word Sunday, I'm going to write equals weekday 1. That's a formula that represents Sunday as a value. And I'm going to do the same thing for these other cells, weekday 2. And I'm going to keep doing this for the remainder of the week. Okay, now that that is done, let me format them so they are a little bit more reader friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and select those cells. I'm going to choose my number formatting option and I'm going to go right over to custom. And then for type, I'm going to type in a D, D. Notice as I type in the D code, it's changing my sample. Three Ds gives me the day of the week, three letters. I'll do four Ds and that's going to give me um, the day of the week spelled out. I'll click OK and now it looks like I'm back to where I was before but this is going to be very convenient because I'm going to reference this weekday function right here in this row 2 in my formulas down here. So what I want to have happen is as I change out from uh, my main A1 date I want the first to show up in the appropriate spot down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick on Wednesday because I happen to know that April of 2020 the first is a Wednesday. And I'm going to go ahead and start my function dialog box. I'm going to move this down a little bit. I want an ifs function, ifs. There it is. And I'm going to start off pretty simply. We're going to be doing this in several stages so that it all makes sense. My first logical test is going to be to find out if the weekday for my main date. Now whenever I refer to my main date in A1, I'm going to make that fully absolute. If my weekday for my main date is equal to the weekday for the cell that I'm working with. And I'm going to make this a mixed reference so that the column letter is relative and the row number is absolute. Technically, I don't need to make the row number absolute, but I will. Now, if that's true, well, what do I want to have happen? Well, I simply want to display the date, the main date. And once again, whenever I refer to A1, my main date, I'll make that absolute. Okay, so we get a number value, but that's actually pretty good. This number value is a date value, and if I formatted it to be like a, a digit, then it's going to be in good shape. Let me go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to paste it through my entire top row, and I'm just going to paste the formulas. While these are all selected, I'm also going to format this under Custom, and this time for my type, I can just do one letter D, and that will give me the right number even though the sample isn't showing it. I'm going to click OK, and I can see that there we go. For April 2020, Wednesday is the first. What about May 1st, 2020? The first is a Friday. What about August 1st, 2020? The first is a Saturday. December 1st? first is a Tuesday. So we're already having some success because the first of the month is showing up on the proper day, all with that formula. However, we want to add a little bit more. So now I'm working over here. I'm going to play around with my uh, Tuesday. Doesn't matter because we're copying the same function over. And I want to add another logical test to this ifs function. So the ifs function is nice because we can do multiple true logical tests in a sequence and the first one that's true will win. Now I want to deal with the days to the left of the first. So basically days that are prior to the first of the month. So in this case it's going to be that Sunday and Monday block even though I'm working in my Tuesday block. My logical test is going to be to find out if the weekday of A1 again absolute is greater than the weekday for the um, 
that particular column. In this case, I'm working in column C, and I will do my mixed reference. Now, that's either going to be a true or false statement, and we can see that that's a false statement here. However, if it is true, I am curious, what would be the weekday of A1 minus C2? Just curious what that's going to look like. And in, yeah, I'll just go ahead and click OK, copy that, paste all of these. And this is going to be good information. Notice that the Monday before the first, it's one day off. That's going to be useful. And the Sunday before the first is two days off or two values off. That's also going to be useful information there. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's go back to Tuesday and let's add some more, another logical test here. I'm going to create a third logical test, even though I'm not done with the second one. There's, there's still some fixes to this. But I'm going to do kind of the opposite. For logical test three is the weekday of A1 less than the value for C2. Remember, I'm only typing in C2 because I happen to be focusing my attention on column C at the moment. That one's going to be either a true or false scenario. Now, if it is true, though, if it is true, what do I want to have happen going forward? Well, once again, I'm a little bit curious, but I'm going to write my function slightly different. I'm going to take C2. Of course, I'm going to do a mixed reference for that. And I'm going to subtract the weekday for A1, which is my main date. And let's see what this produces. I'll click OK, copy that, and I'm going to paste it in all the days of the first week. There it is. All right, so this is going to be pretty useful. So remember, Tuesday is the first. Let me jump this back over to uh, April 1st of 2020. And just as a reminder here, the first is a Wednesday. And what? how can we interpret these values? We'll check this out. The first is a Wednesday. The day before is one day before. Two days before is two days before that first. Three days before, and then we can do the opposite. The first of April is a Wednesday. One day after is Thursday. Two days after is Friday. Three days after is Saturday. So now that we have appropriate values, we can just tweak our ifs function just a little bit more and have the appropriate days from the prior month or the current month. So I'm working in Wednesday now, column D for April. Let's go back into this, and I'm going to modify my value if true for my second logical test. So the value of true, I'm simply going to take my A1 date, make that absolute, and I'm going to subtract this particular value. Now, what I had before simply represents the number of days before the first. So I can take the, the start of the month minus the number of days before the first. Now, I can do something similar. I didn't mean to click on that cell, so that probably threw me off there a little bit. Let me get rid of that, plus G3. Now, let me go ahead and modify the value of true for this one, because that's also going to be similar. Basically, with that one, I'm going to take A1, my main date, absolute, but this time I'll be adding this value. Remember, this value is producing the number of days after the first. I'll click OK, copy this, paste those formulas in. Now, check this out. April 1st is a Wednesday, and then, of course, the rest of the week counts out properly, second, third, and the fourth. Prior to the first, we had our previous month, the 31st, the 30th, and the 29th. So if this was May 120, there we go. The first is a Friday, and we see all the prior days from the prior month, and we see the next day. Now the other formulas are going to be pretty easy. I simply equal to the value above it, plus 7 for 7 days. Click OK. Let's make sure I type this in properly. Equals the value above plus 7. Enter. Perfect. I can copy this formula and paste it for all these other cells. Let make sure, let's make sure they're all appropriately formatted with a custom 
1D. That'll give me a number, and here we go. So for May of 2020, we can see our prior days, but then all of the future days are counting out, and it's populating this calendar pretty nicely. Let's change this to back to April 1st, 2020. Everything is getting populated appropriately. Excellent, and we'll just do a 12 one 2020. Very nice. Now, in another video, I want to do some slightly complicated uh, conditional formatting because the days that are prior to the first and the days that are after the end of the month, I want to format those so they're not quite as noticeable. Probably format them in a light gray, and of course that'll require some conditional formatting with a formula. Take care.